All right, guys. So we're up to part D, and the question is: uh, the line x minus two y plus three is down here. So I'm, I'm going to rewrite that as as uh, as y is equal to a half of x plus th uh, three so what we what we wor more worried about is this half, and it intersects y is equal to x cubed plus one at point one two. So what we need to do is find what y dash is. So it's going to be three x squared, and at at x equals one, y dash is equal to three. Okay. Now we have this theory that goes tan the angle between two lines, two straight lines, is going to be uh, ooh, what was it? Sorry about that. So the angle between two lines is going to be the absolute value of m1 minus m2 all over 1 plus m1 times m2. Right, so the absolute value of that. So we know that m1 is going to be a half, and m2 is in this case it's going to be three all over one over m1, and so it's going to be three on two. Okay, so instead of this, I'm going to write this as two on two, right? Just just for convenience' sake. And again, don't don't forget the uh, the absolute value signs. And don't don't drop this. Uh, this ends up being minus minus five one two all over five one two. So you see the absolute value of this is going to be equal to one, and therefore theta is going to be equal to pi on four. Okay, and that's your answer. So that's part D. It also the acute angle, so we can just stop there at point four. Okay, part E. Integration. And we're supposed to use that substitution u is equal to 25 minus x squared. When you see a substitution, the first thing that you need to do is du dx. So du dx, so I'll start writing this way and we'll write it as minus 2x dx. All right. Uh, if you if you notice if you look at the question, if you look at the question over here. There's a 2x over there and there's a 2x over here. So, uh, which means the top half half of it. Okay. I'll, 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 I'm jumping the gun, gun a bit too much. Um, let's let's go back to when x is equal to three. When x is equal to three, you will turn out to be sixteen. You can plug this in for yourself, and uh, you'll find that it is sixteen. And when x equals four, u is equal to nine. Now we're going to go and do the integration. So when x is three, u is sixteen. When u when x is 4, u is 9. Now the top part, what I was talking about before, there's a 2x dx, but there's a minus sign in there as well, but the minus sign can go to the other side. So this becomes a minus du all lower square root of u. Okay. Now this minus sign means I can flip these two. So this is equivalent to saying integration of between 16 and 9, the usual way. And instead of writing this, I'm going to say u to the minus a half du. And this is equal to, so the integration becomes Remember, you just add 1 to this, so it becomes a half, and then you flip it. So you flip this fraction. 
So two. So when you differentiate it, it becomes two times a half, which is one times u half minus one, which we end up over here. And this is between sixteen and nine. All right. So uh, this is square root of u. So it's the square root of sixteen is fourteen. And the square root of nine is three. Uh, square root, sorry, my mistake. Square root of 16 is 4, square root of 9 is 3. Right, so we end up with 2. And there you go, question 1. Done.